excuse me. Can Everything's wobbling. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video. I'm super excited to actually have this opportunity today to bring out some of these amazing, amazing cards. These guys are from Carolyn and she is one of the pioneers for energy medicine. She's one of those people that has turned things around and toppled things and let us break through from excuses and certain energies that are not good for us and letting us see that there are some amazing ways out of some of the challenges that life has faced us with. All right, so I love, love, love this deck. This is the one we're gonna use today. The amazing thing about this is Carolyn goes over how we have 12 archetype characteristics or personality traits that we have our whole life. But four of them are all connected that we all share. And that's gonna be, oh my gosh, that inner child, number one, for sure, we all carry that inner child, but that can go into four sections, the victim, the prostitute, and the saboteur. So we're each gonna have that personality or whatever characteristic in our life, and it's gonna bring up challenges, it's gonna bring up anxiety, it's gonna bring up all that stuff um, in our lives, and what happens is, is we can see that either it's a light side or there's a dark side to it, but it's actually a neutral energy. So these cards are super cool. It's a really thick, big deck, um, super fun. What did she say? Um, 80 cards in this deck. So it's a pretty big deck and a lot of personality archetypes to work with. Um, it also came with, I believe, um, it's 80 cards, 80 um, archetypes, and then six blank cards. I actually took the six blank cards out because I kind of wanted to really think about what I wanted to add to those six cards, but for right now, I kind of took them out. So let's get the cards out and see how we can do. The fun thing though about this deck is, is that it actually um, seriously has a labradorite that it has fallen in love with. So if you uh, know anything about crystals or need some crystal energy, I am so glad that this labradorite was there. It really tunes um, any kind of evil eye or funky energy out and lets a lot more psychic and intuitive information come in. I love it, I love it. So all right, let's get these cards shuffled. And it said that it does 12 um, archetypes all together, that we have the four main ones and then we're, you know, we have more on top of that. Today's reading though, I'm only going to do three cards so three archetypes that we're going to work with. There's gonna be a light side and a dark side to what the card says. I hope you can feel that. All right. Ready? All right. <laughs> All right, three cards. Woo. All right, card number one. Can you see that? Oh, rebel. <laughs> I love it. Okay, who's not a rebel in this group? <laughs> okay, so rebel, light attributes, challenges authority to affect social change, reject spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs. So you definitely, whoo, that's a light side to that. The shadow ass attributes, which we're kind of hiding from or we're, you know, like keep it in there as the negative, are gonna be rejects legitimate authority out of anger and rebels out of peer pressure or fashion. So with Rebel, look for, are you, have you been a lifelong, you know, I'm gonna rebel against the system or the establishment? Like how deep does that go in your personality, um, look for it as a trait. You know, it's not a good or a bad trait. And that's the challenge of looking at this archetype. Okay, next card. Oh. <laughs> hmm. 
All right, Virgin, light attributes. Maintain symbolic purity of heart and spirit. So your heart is spirit, your, all that is just like childlike, innocent, that beautiful quality that's within you. Shadow is the fear of intimate union. So it's hard to even hold somebody's hand. It's like, you're so innocent. There's that little bit of boundaries, so. All right, and the Virgin card, we're looking at, are we hiding some of our spiritual and artistic gifts? Are we being a little bit too prudish? Um, is it okay to experiment with something that seems a little bit taboo? So it's almost like stepping out of that and just being okay with it. All right, next card. Last card. Oh, the thief. Light attributes. Sheds light on potential wealth within you that can never be Stolen. So you might have had um, where somebody is a thief to you or you have been a thief to somebody where it's like I've got to take some advice from somebody or take some energy from somebody or um, you know the shadow is stealing money, creative ideas, affection or other powers you think you lack. So it's almost like you have to take them from somebody else because you think you lack it. The reality is is you do have it within you. I love it. The best part about these cards when we sit with our archetypes is that we can actually sit in a room and see if any of them fit our personality, if they need to stay around, or if we actually need to just push them out of our life and say, you know what, you're not working for me very well, that's not something that I want to do, and then that way we're basically leaving that aspect out and allowing for new room to come in and new archetypes to come in that are a little bit more fitting and easier to basically integrate into our life. So I'm super, super excited for this reading to just sit back and say, wow, you know what? I can be a rebel or I can be a total pruder. You know what? Sometimes I do steal people's times, you know, <laughs> when I'm not supposed to. And I can sit back and say, hey, you know what? That's a part of me and I'm either gonna embrace it and keep it here and keep that going, or you know what? I'm gonna release some of those. Don't forget guys, I have my Crystals for the Empath book on now on Amazon. It's a great guide for beginner crystal and chakras and a little bit of energy in here, so it's super great. I love it. And woo -woo, we finally got some merch. I love it. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so excited. I'm a tank top girl. So I finally um, got these done and I cannot wait. Um, there is a little bit of a giveaway for these a giveaway for these tank tops. The top two comments down below are going to receive a tank top. I love it. I know it's getting sweater weather, but you know what? I'm a California girl, so I gotta have my tank tops and I can't wait to spoil you guys with them. So comments down below. My top two are definitely getting a tank top. So, so much love. Mwah.